What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Doki Doki Drawing. We're here with Tony. Hey! Show us, in your style, how you would draw a smiling character. Okay, I can do the eyeglass girl from McLovin. The one that always just only just wears underwear and sits around <laughs> in like house house uh, slippers all day. That is a very anime character design. What's mm -hmm. their main character element? Oh, it's they, they, they wear underwear. Oh, that's it! I have a rough idea of where mm -hmm. things are. So going back to that circle with the already filling in the shape of that chin. Mm -hmm. I know where the Using mouth that is. plus sign and the thirds so that Tony was talking about earlier to place the nose. To place the nose. We know the location of the ears. Question, how big of a smile do you want? Just a regular smile? Uh, that's totally up to you. Whatever you think suits the character. Ah, okay. So we're going for the angled smile. The sort of, this is this is quite common in comic. It's kind of smiling with the, the angle going up to one side. Because I know where the mouth shape should be, mm -hmm. I can kind of can play with it there. For the Tony style of approaching, like drawing a face, you're thinking about a base shape and where things are on average, and then you're just kind of pulling and stretching in various directions to make your own character. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, when you're trying to get faster, you do less of the structure stuff, but mm. I think it's important at the very beginning when you're just trying to figure out how to make it read properly. You gotta do the work. You gotta do your, the due right, diligence right, right. to just understand why is this happening? Why does this work? And why does this not work? So I basically have my eyes kind of in place. I have my eyebrows where they should be. I have my nose. And this is also interesting. So the, also the way that Tony is, is drawing this is like, all the details are being slowly, slowly fleshed in bit by bit for the whole face, as opposed to drawing the eyes first. Right, so I started as a traditional painter, and the whole thing is about building up to what the final piece is, as opposed to just doing it one shot. Right now, I'm getting the eyelids in and the eye, eye, uh, eyelashes. You know she has big, big glasses. So would you say you don't have too many rules about when you put the details in? It's just like as and when you think of the details you want. Right. Like sometimes I do more detail just because it's fun. <laughs> it's like I'm eating my dessert before I'm done with the um, final. You allow yourself to have fun while drawing? I know. Get out. you actually put bases in, and a lot of anime, a lot, a lot of them don't even draw the base of the eye anymore. Another thing too is people don't do noses anymore. When Wolf was on the channel recently, he, he was just like, nah, I'm, I'm a nose person, I want to see the nose. It's the two of you, it's your noses and toes, toes, toeses? And toeses? <laughs> <laughs> noses and toeses. So we're getting a good rough idea of the size of the head, the size and position of the eyes, position and size of the mouth, and mm -hmm. not too much detail, but now we're also getting a sense of the volume of the hair, position of the neck. Do you always draw in red? Always. Uh, it's just easier on my eyes. You would have loved the virtual boy. Oh god. Yeah, I remember when it came out. Dots for the pupils, colouring in the irises, highlights. And so for this smile that you've adapted it to, you've gone for a mouth that has a gap in the middle. Yeah, usually I do that just so we can see the kind of, kind of the lip shape. So I'm just going to clean this up and ink it now. Check okay. Ink. And again, for beginners, this is probably an alien concept. Drawing something and then drawing a final over the top of it. Get a pen out and you just mm -hmm. draw the final thing straight up. And it's like, why didn't it go how I planned? Exactly. I, yeah. I learned not to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So Tony's starting with the eyes. I'm trying to not overthink my lines too much because mm -hmm. then it gets, you lose all the energy. I've been experimenting with just keeping it very choppy. I'm using a thing that I learned from one of the lovely Doki Doki videos about um, not zooming. It's not, I don't want to say it's bad because there's a time and place for it, but I can definitely see how it's made my stuff look a lot tighter. So interestingly, even for Tony's line art here over the initial sketch, still using the same style of adding some detail for a bit of the eyes, drawing in the eyebrows, drawing in the mouth, but not like finishing the eyes first. Already moving on to, you know, hair before drawing the the shape of the, the head. Yeah, I mean, is it right? I don't know. <laughs> when you're painting like traditionally, it's good to just continually to develop the drawing uh, together 
as one piece as opposed to working on like individual pieces mm-hmm. and then slowly build into more complexity. Now, I do have one problem. I tend to draw my faces too narrow. So I actively have to stop at a certain point and go, okay, round this face out a little bit more. Okay, so we're getting already some details on the glasses, it looks like. Yeah, I just want to see that. Put some of the glasses in here because I wanted to get the head shape. And again, since the topic is draw a smiling face, you guys can already see Tony has amended the shape of the mouth once in the sketch and in the final line art, that, that gap has become even softer in the, in the final version. Mm-hmm. And who knows, maybe it will... It might change again. So circles are always hard, especially with the glasses, because sometimes glasses aren't exactly circle. So another thing about glasses is I try to leave little imperfections in it. If it's too clean or like all the lines connect, it seems dead. Mm. Usually I would save this kind of detailing towards the end, but Mm -hmm. because it's kind of dealing with the shape of the face, I kind of want to... Yeah, you want to get that balance, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm actually going to use another layer and I'm going to draw some of that some of the hair. Why do you draw the hair on, the, on another layer? Um, because I can um, experiment and draw through it. Because if I have to erase stuff, it's okay. And because partially, I'm not used to drawing this character. <laughs> and like Tony was saying earlier, the smile is a mixture of the eyes, the eyebrows, and the, the mouth. Well, all the elements, of course. So it's not like a super U-shaped smile. It's actually quite a flat smile but because of the combination with those eyebrows you can you can see this is not a it's not a sad face it's right so see see the reason why i have the sunglasses not sunglasses but the eyeglasses so i can kind of see where i want to place them a little bit better mm. so of course there's plenty more going on in this one illustration than just the smile but that is what we're focusing on today how to draw a smiling face but easily with this one illustration we could make a whole tutorial on drawing shapes for the hair drawing the eyes getting the details in where to put the shadows getting things overall balanced there's a million tutorials in one in here but we're we're focusing just on how does tony draw a smiling face a smiling face yeah yeah and it's it's amazing how it's amazing how it, it looked so incomplete for the whole drawing and then mm-hmm. just drawing in those irises there with the simple simple dots for the eyes and suddenly you're just like oh wow yeah so this it's is this is this is <laughs> this is all the detail it needed yeah so i mean look if you think about it a drawing's not done till it's done so these dots you're drawing by the eyes are they eyelashes or are they freckles they're supposed to be eyelashes but okay <laughs> the freckles come later that's how you get people to watch to the end of the video you say the freckles come later yeah so right now i'm just kind of fattening things up. We're just gonna make some imperfections in the glasses just so it doesn't seem like a total carbon copy. All right and you guys are getting a small little preview into the way that Tony does some eyes on character sketches. Darkness at the top, hatched lines in the middle, highlights at the top. And then the piece de, de resistance. <laughs> the piece uh, of resistance. <laughs> got the freckles. And Aren't you all glad that you stayed till the end of the video to watch the freckles bit? They better have. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna merge these these uh, layers. <gasps> I know. Right? Gutsy. So this way, if I have to make small little changes, that's an awesome tip. Doing the line art stage, mixing them all into a separate layer, a single layer, so you can actually do the changes and you don't get lazy and go, ah, I don't know what layer it's on. I'll just leave it. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to now make these eyes go a little bit more farther apart. All right. Yeah. So yeah, that's how I make a girl smiling. Does this character have a name yet? Oh, maybe that maybe they can name her for me. Feel free to leave it in the comments section below. Thank mm. you very much, Sketchflix, for yeah. showing us your mini tutorial of how to draw a smiling face. Of yeah. course, there is plenty more detail. I know that Tony wants to go into way more detail talking oh, God, about yes. 
of all, all the things that can be done when drawing the face because easily you could make a hundred different tutorials on just <laughs> the head alone and that's not even mm -hmm. getting to the body and all the posing and the balance and all that but mm -hmm. the main points I hope you guys could all see was just generally Tony's order of things like going in with the base sketch and then drawing the line art but then underneath that really choosing the positions of everything so like the eyes are vaguely here on the face then the nose and then the mouth and then choosing where the chin's gonna go putting the neck in and then after that filling in all the volumes and all the details and then after that going in and changing all the balances like okay I maybe want things a little bit closer to the side here or a little bit further there or maybe a little bit more of a gap in between the lips here in the middle and all that and then as a bonus you also get to see I mean I don't even think Tony was doing this intentionally but you know this is the very characteristic sketch flicks line art look with the sort of dark thicker lines on the the areas that are you know like borders and then also thin lines for the things that are like softer and less um, more wispy yeah that's I mean, that's pretty much it <laughs> you, oh, you really explained that was, a, that was a really good explanation thank you very much anything else you'd like to add for especially especially for beginners how do I approach this because I did see about 600 things in there but like which one do I start with and right right you know, right right yeah no no through. like usually just find what works as with you and I've changed my approach multiple times, multiple times. So usually it's like, what do I like using right now? Um, what makes me go faster? What makes the task of just drawing much, that much more enjoyable? So yeah, there's no right or wrong way, but it's more like what's right and wrong to you. I always try different tutorials to learn different methods. Mm -hmm. And I go, sometimes I take little bits from different ones and back and forth. Um, there's one I'm experimenting with right now that I didn't really show today, but um, I just want, I just need more time with it and then I can implement it into my drawing style. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys can all take away something, at least one or two things from this tutorial. There's a lot in there. Where can they find more Sketchflix goodness? Well, it's pretty simple. It's on all things Sketchflix. So that's your Instagram, that's a YouTube um, and all that stuff. So check it out there. And I got a podcast I'm doing uh, just for fun where I just talk weird stuff. Check that out. That's Salted Coffee. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The links to those will be in the description box below. Everyone look forward to more Doki Doki mini tutorials in the future. That's all from me. How about you, Tony? I guess that's it. <laughs> we'll see you all in future videos. All right. All right.